of the sharpest tongue. We can't be something we're not. I met with the winged things baying, and they feed off the winter lurking in your mind. I could see it in your eyes. I just want you to get out. I just want you to get out. So, I mean, yeah, it's the music is the very music wouldn't let you, it's wouldn't moving let you and it was serious stuff. It's like. moving. It's got a dance beat almost, you know, yeah. you're really right. moving, you know, like this, but like, you know, a liar of the sharpest. <laughs> like, you know, it's like you wouldn't know. If- hey, welcome back to Into the Music. I'm here with my buddy, Greg. My name is Chris and Greg, you got something for me to react to for the uh, the viewers to hear. So what you got? I do. I do. And I got seeds of gold for you. Oh, God, I wish. Yeah. Um, by it's you know, a copy. The they, grow, they grow into gold bars, I guess. That would be nice. Right. Uh, so this is through our copy site and Andrew Branch. Andrew has been a requester regular, um, much, yeah. for several now. Mm-hmm. And let's see if he. Right, he's kind of on a roll. I think that we've liked everything that he's given we, us so uh, yeah, far. Yeah, we definitely leaned on the liking side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So again, seeds of gold. Um, oh, yeah, and the band. The band is called uh, Closure in Moscow. Oh, That's a real interesting name, huh? For a group. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so go check it out, man. Come on back and uh, tell everyone, tell the world what you think. The world. Oh my God. Um, it's a lot of pressure. Um. Oh, I will do do that. I'll give it my best. Okay.
Hey, man. Hey. So what would you think? What would you think of Seeds of Gold? You, um, well, I liked that the whole waka, 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 waka. <laughs> it sounded like that. It's like you put Fozzie Bear on fast speed, you know, with the waka, waka, right? Or like something you'd sound in the, in, you'd hear in the, the, the Starsky and Hutch theme or something, you know, something 70s. Yeah. Right? No, I'm you talking know, about what I'm talking about, right? It's yeah. With that. Yeah. Well, yeah. but also I was thinking too, like I was thinking about Will Ferrell with the cowbell and, um, <laughs> and it was Christopher yeah. Walken, more cowbell. And I'm thinking yeah. like, you know, more waka waka waka. Oh, okay. <laughs> we okay. need more waka waka waka. That'll be the, that'll be the next theme, uh, meme, I mean. Okay. Um, the next so, musical meme. Andrew, you know, right now, it's patiently going, all right, guys, did you like it or not? <laughs> <laughs> I want my money back. Um, okay. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> all right. Um, you know, I got to say, man, um, the. Uh, I like the really like the rhythm guitar in some parts, like um, that part where it's just uh, just just when I thought uh, so and so um, such and such, um, yeah, just when I thought uh, it could be safer at home out here. Yeah, uh, by I, picking up the I, pace, covering ground. The rhythm guitar was doing. Yeah, um, and you know, it slightly reminded me of the guitar work in the, from that band, The Fix. You know, oh yeah, know yeah, a little, a little bit. You know, um, and um, so throughout, I like the I like the rhythm guitar playing, and um, but, but the chorus um, where it's beautiful. I think it's they said beautiful something, right? Um, yeah, but once you were beautiful enough to bear seeds of gold, yeah, 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 I didn't yeah, so that, much. Yeah, that that um, yeah that chorus. Um, it really got popish, you know. I mean, the whole song was very popish. Yeah. Um, and I can I could see how this, you know, I could see how it would get stuck in my head all day, and I would curse the people who <laughs> put this together, but. <laughs> Um, only because it would get stuck in my head, you know, but it is very popish. And, and um, as judging it as a pop song, I would say it's pretty good. Yeah. I'm talking about it in its entirety. Like I said, I really yeah. like the guitar work. And, uh, but it really, it probably would get annoyingly stuck in my head because it's catchy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do know what you're saying. Um, I'm pretty much on the same page as you with the song. Yeah. Um, Is this considered like a pop band? Tell so, about- Closure of Moscow is an Australian progressive rock band. I mean, that's what it says in Wiki. Um, also, uh, Wiki had said it has an avant garde sound, which I didn't. You know, you know something though. You know something though. We only hear on one song. Well, what I wanted to say though, right? Because it's not hearing that in this song. You know, there's another song off this album. So the album is off their 2014, um, their second studio album. It's called Pink Lemonade. Um, and there's another song off this album. It's called The Church of the Technochrist. Okay, that sounds. That's more a real interesting. A little less than popish. Yeah, the so you know, the Techno Christ. I right. like that title. I know. That would I know. be a yeah, damn good me song too. to live up to that title. So again, Australian progressive rock band uh, formed in 2006 in Melbourne, and um, Manzora Zanelli, guitar singer; Michael Barrett, guitarist; Salvatore Adone, drums; bassist Duncan Miller, and lead singer Chris DeSink. Um, the bass and the drums. Um, there were two other guys um, that were, I think, no, actually, I think those are the guys on this album, on this song. Um, it's really interesting because they they started out in 2006, right? Their first album was 2009 called The First Temple. And then they didn't put this album out, the second one, until 2014. Oh, okay. So it sounds like a little like Stone and Roses to me, right? There's like a, yeah, a five-year right. gap there, right? Mm-hmm. So a five-year gap here. When I look in Wiki and all like that, it's, it, it's not clear to me why it took them so long to get that second one done, um, except to say that in 2011, 
um, the original drummer and the original bassist, they both left the group. Now, whether or not they were forced out or they left on their own, but you would think that maybe, you know, that would, that would kind of cause well, when, when did, to sort of pause. Yeah. What, when did, the, what album does this one come from? Is so one, this one right now, this song we're talking about, yeah. again, it's the two, 2014 album, oh, Pink so Lemonade. I, I said that. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So again, there's that five year gap. So um, really interesting. Um, the lead singer, he reminded, me, he reminded me a little bit of, I forgot his name, but Suede, my insatiable one. You know, there was a little bit, yeah, yeah. you know, a little bit of that sound. Um, his, the voice, the vocals. Okay. And, um, and then the lyrics, the lyrics, I think are really interesting. Um, I don't know if this guy is right. Someone wrote, um, who is, uh, um, he's wrote something on geniuslyrics.com. Um I don't know, take it for what it's worth, but he said it's the most feel good danceable song of the record, but also the most mel melancholic. The fool, and he mentions the fool a few times, the fool has exhausted his use for poor little Verena, and in turn, she has grown bitter and resentful. The sentiment in the song is one of being aware deep down that resentment and bitterness are born of the fool's own callousness. I don't know. I mean, a couple of lyrics here versus a liar of, so the first, the first verse. A liar of the sharpest tongue. We can't be something we're not. I met with the winged things baying, and they feed off the winter lurking in your mind. I could see it in your eyes. I just want you to get out. I just want you to get out. So, I mean, yeah, it's the music is the very music wouldn't let you, it's it wouldn't moving and you with serious stuff. It's like. moving. It's got a dance beat almost. You know, yeah. you're really wow. moving, you know, like this, but like, you know, a liar of the sharpest, <laughs> like you know, it's like you wouldn't know if you've not if you've we not really paid attention. We've run into that quite a bit lately, where uh, the mood of the lyrics is, um, like juxtaposed to the music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which actually, really, you know, we we love that, right? There's that there's that contrast. Um, yeah. but and then just a I'm chorus just here, right. just a chorus right. here, because it can has the seeds of gold. But once you were beautiful enough to bear seeds of gold, I didn't so much. You would hold me and I would stare. A pillar of salt whisked away by the air. Beautiful right from the start. I loved your soul enough to leave in the cold. So um, very nice writing. <laughs> so do you have anything else to say about song? Uh, no, other than, you know, I think if I, if I listen to it again, I'll like it more. That One sounds good. Sounds promising. Okay. Yeah, but it will get stuck in my head, and I, I fear songs like that. Right, because if they're gonna every... just like dominate the day, I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, because not every song. I say gets... that to the song. <laughs> stuck... Not every song that gets stuck in there is necessarily a good thing, right? That's sometimes yeah. you just. There should be a release valve or something. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring the next one in. All right, so um, you want to take us out? Yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video and hit the like button if you really like it. And um, even if you possibly like it, um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And we'll catch you next time on Into the Music. See ya.